Imagine launching a successful business without a traditional business plan. Sounds impossible, right? Not according to Jason Fried and David Heinemeyer Hansen. In their groundbreaking book, Rework, they challenge the conventional wisdom of business planning. They argue that the classic business plan, often filled with hypothetical scenarios and lofty projections, is a relic of the past. Instead, they believe the true key to success lies in execution and making decisions on the fly. It's about rolling up your sleeves, getting your hands dirty, and taking practical actions, rather than getting bogged down in hypotheticals. It's about flexing your entrepreneurial muscles, testing your ideas in the real world, and adjusting your course based on real-time feedback. So the first major takeaway from Rework is to ditch the old school business plan and focus on action. Yes, action. Because in the end, it's not about the plan, it's about the execution. Do you think working 80 hours a week is a sign of commitment and productivity? Well, rework begs to differ. Jason Fried and David Heinemeyer Hansen, the authors of Rework, propose a rather compelling argument. They assert that workaholism isn't a badge of honor, it's a sign of inefficiency. Is it really productive if you're clocking in countless hours but have little to show for it? The authors encourage us to shift our mindset. It's not about working longer, it's about working smarter. It's about focusing on what truly matters, the quality of your work, rather than the quantity of hours you put in. They argue that effectiveness and efficiency should be our primary focus. After all, what good is a long day's work if the end result is subpar? So let's rethink our approach to work. Let's prioritize effectiveness over hours and quality over quantity. So forget the glorification of overworking. Instead, strive for efficiency and effectiveness. Ever felt like meetings could be more of a hindrance than a help? You're not alone. Rework presents a powerful counter-narrative to the traditional corporate wisdom that meetings are essential for progress. Instead, the authors label them as toxic, stating they often consume more time than they save. Imagine this. You're in the zone, fully immersed in your work, and then you're pulled into a meeting. It's not only the time spent in the meeting itself, but also the time it takes to regain your focus afterwards. This disruption of flow severely impacts productivity and creativity. Moreover, meetings tend to multiply. One meeting leads to another, and soon enough your calendar is swamped with them, leaving little time for actual work. So, instead of defaulting to meetings, Rework suggests exploring more efficient ways of communication. Could an email or a quick chat do the job? Next time you're tempted to call a meeting, consider if it's truly necessary or if there's a more efficient way to communicate. Think lack of resources is a setback. Rework suggests it might just be your secret weapon. Constraints. They're often seen as the enemy of creativity and progress. But what if we've been looking at them all wrong? According to Jason Fried and David Heinemeyer Hansen, the authors of Rework, constraints aren't the roadblocks we think they are. In fact, they argue that these so-called limitations could be the very things that spark creativity and innovation. When we're faced with constraints, we're forced to think differently, to approach problems from a new angle, and to come up with unexpected solutions. It's not about having endless resources. It's about making the most of what you do have. It's about turning adversity into advantage, challenge into opportunity. So, next time you're faced with a lack of resources, don't see it as a setback. See it as a chance to innovate, to create something truly unique. So, don't fear limitations, embrace them as catalysts for innovation. So, what can we take away from Rework by Jason Fried and David Heinemeyer Hansen? In the spirit of breaking away from the traditional, this book is a powerful manifesto that urges us to rethink our approach to business. It's an invitation to ditch the drawn-out business plans, challenging us to take action instead, to learn by doing and to adjust along the way. It's a reminder that workaholism is not a badge of honor, but a sign of inefficiency. To be truly successful, we should strive to work smarter, not harder. The book also emphasizes the toxicity of meetings, advocating for more effective communication methods that don't drain our time and energy. And finally, it encourages us to embrace constraints, to view them not as hurdles, but as catalysts for innovation. The less we have, the more creative we must become. Remember, it's not about doing business as usual, it's about reworking your approach for better, more sustainable success.